Ladies and gentlemen, I want to first of all recognize the students who have been chosen, selected to receive the awards under the Robert Manning Scholarship Awards in program. I think it is testament to Social Security that it continues to see the potential and the necessity to invest in the young people of our country so that they could continue to contribute to the ongoing development of the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis. It's a great pleasure for me to share with you this afternoon and I really want to say to the Social Security Board, the director, the chief executive and the directors, that your wisdom to broaden the contributions or the awards or to increase the awards clearly shows that you have vision and that you are willing to ensure that the, you maximize the involvement of Social Security in the ongoing development of St. Kitts and Nevis. For you, the recipients of these awards, the scholarship assistance which you have signed to accept and to pay forward is an opportunity or provides you with an opportunity to develop your skills, to expand your horizon, and it allows you to become part of the next generation of leaders in St. Kitts and Nevis. But it allows you also to pursue your dreams, and sometimes you're not aware of really how far or how well you can, or what, how much you can achieve until you get the opportunity. And this scholarship award is allowing you to explore, it's allowing you to grow, it's allowing you to dream, it's allowing you to provide or to provide you with the opportunity to really take that opportunity which is there through tertiary level education to become the best that you can become. But besides achieving academic excellence. I encourage you to distinguish yourselves by your good behavior. Now, we often go to university and because we are no longer under the tutelage of people we know, the father and mother, the parents are not there anymore. We think we can do what we like, when we like, how we like. And sometimes we do not distinguish ourselves in terms of our, our social um, behaviors. But this is a good chance to test yourselves against yourselves and to see whether or not you really do have the qualities which Social Security believe you have and therefore has chosen to invest in you. We expect with this award that you will exercise due discipline in the pursuit of the area in which you have chosen to study. I want to say to you that there will be challenges, serious challenges. It may be the first time you're going to be away from home. It may not be the first time. But because times have changed, the environment at universities have changed, sometimes not for the better, you will find that there will be challenges which will demand your disciplined application to the work at hand. You have said what you want to do. You have persuaded the Social Security Education Committee and they have decided to invest in you. I challenge you therefore to make the best of your educational opportunity and to use these opportunities wisely to deepen your knowledge and skills You'll have opportunities to make new friends and to learn. And I want to challenge you or encourage you to apply or approach your new endeavor with an open mind. Sure, it's good to have preconceived notions 
but if you want to really benefit to the max from your opportunity, an open mind helps. I invite you also to embrace your responsibilities, which you have not just to yourself, but to your parents, to your community, and to the Social Security Board, which has invested in you. And you can become exceptional learners. You can become, the, and as a lady there, you can become the next best scientist, the next best technologist. And the open opportunities which exist are there for you to grasp with both hands. And as recipients of the Social Security Scholarship, you bear a special responsibility to achieve the best or the greatest level that you can given the opportunity which you have been presented with. You will need sometimes to challenge yourselves to go beyond the prescribed work to be done. And always if you really want to succeed, it is always better to do more than is required than to do just a bare requirement. All of us at Social Security, and I have thrown myself in as if I were a member of the board itself, we want to wish you well. So this investment can make a significant impact on your lives. And so you can make a significant impact on the life of others, the life of your community. I want also to congratulate your families because they're the ones who have been encouraging you to grow and to learn and to pursue your dreams. And it is that encouragement which parents and family members give which could make the difference between someone succeeding or not succeeding or not doing as well as he or she could. And we must all recognize that this investment will in fact pay, as the director said, a great dividend in terms of the interest and the returns for the amount which has been outlaid here today. As new scholarship holders, you have to be a beacon for Social Security. You have to sing the praises of Social Security. You have to encourage people to not be delinquent. You have to encourage those you know who feel that they can refuse to make their contributions. And so you become an agent of Social Security because Social Security has invested in you. Social Security, by this investment, has taken the decision to walk with you and walk the path which will lead to your success. And I want you to recognize that at every single turn of your endeavor. I would like you to remember also that the result you achieve will be dependent on the goals which you have set, but also on the method which you apply to achieve those goals. So you have a chain reaction, you set a goal, but if you don't have a way of achieving the goal, then there may be no achievement or not positive results anyway. I'm encouraging you to read, not just to listen to lectures or to go on the internet and Google. I want you to get into the minds of the thinkers who have written on the subjects which you have chosen to study. I want to encourage you also to gather to yourselves good friends, people with whom you could associate and with whom you feel comfortable to study. And wherever possible, get mentors, older people who can help you to refine your own thinking on any subject which you may find difficulties. I want to encourage you that while you are away from home, do not forget your home. Some people, when they go away, they forget.
because St. Kitts and Eve is small and they go to a larger country, they get excited by the glitz and the glamour. I think some two or three of these speakers spoke of that. Do not let the glitz and glamour detract you from your stated goal and purpose. While you're at university, you're going to make friends. And you, therefore, will find opportunity to socialize. But in socializing, choose to do it following the right path. The director said, stay on the straight and narrow. I don't have to define that for you. You have all heard about the straight and narrow from the time you were able to, to listen and to hear. Parents, while your children are away, you still need to support them and encourage them. Write them a letter, give them a telephone call, find out how they're doing. And if they don't call, you call them. Sometimes they have a little challenge and because they are with quote unquote friends and hear this, they feel they have grown up. They have flown the coop that they don't need parents. You need parents all the time. So you don't let them neglect you by neglecting them. You find ways of keeping in touch with them and let them know that you are still there for them. It may be that you only pray for them, but that's important. Maybe that you send them a few extra dollars to top up what Social Security has granted. That's okay too. They need that. They may need to buy an extra something. Like when we were in Barbados, we used to love to go to KFC because the campus food was not good. So you lived at KFC and other things. But you need to help them by supporting them and let them know that you are there for them. Prayer, a little disbursement now and again by money transfer, money gram, or by whomever, or by a friend who's going up to wherever they are. Take a little something for them. They will appreciate it and they will love you forever for it. And students, last of all, never be afraid to travel the path which has been less traveled. That is, if you have an idea, do not be afraid to explore that idea. Your lecturers, your professors will reward you for it. Because that is what university is for. It's about thinking. It's about application of new ideas. And so try those new ideas out. I'm saying try to follow. Don't be afraid to follow or tread the paths which have been less traveled because it is in the less traveled path that you will find the unknown opportunities. And I want to close by saying that we expect you to do well. We expect you to let Social Security be proud of you. We expect that you will seek to pursue excellence so that you can be proud of yourselves and that when you return, as I said, you have been impacted by the investment. We want you now to come back and be an impactful force on your country, your fellow young people, older people, whomever. Be the catalyst for change and development in your country. And may God go with you. May he bless you with understanding and with resilience and bless you with success. God bless you. Thank you very much. Stay up to date with news, programs, and activities of the government with SKNIS. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on SoundCloud. Follow us on Twitter. And watch our videos on YouTube. Connect with us today. SKNIS, St. Kitts and Nevis Information Service.